to absorb what is about to happen as far as the reading is of this verdict is concerned. But you know what? The world won't let them. The world wants to know what this verdict is. The world wants to know how Casey feels about this. The world wants to see what George and Cindy's reaction is. And Lee also. What are their emotions? The world is emotionally invested in this case and the outcome of this case. I have just really never witnessed anything uh, like this uh, in the 35 years that I've practiced law. We're up to 170,000 um, readers on the live uh, blog. Uh, you know, I'm such an old guy, I don't have the, what's the term? Yeah, that's good, the blog, the live, live readers. Okay, the live readers on the blog. And uh, again, the tension is just mounting. It is 14-11, that's 2-11, four minutes away from reading this verdict. And the lawyers have to be, at this point, just dying in their seat. George Anthony with his hands uh, touching almost in prayer. We've seen Cindy Anthony moving her neck about to maybe relieve some stress. They are in the back there. We'll have a camera fixed, of course, on uh, them. And then to the right. Casey Anthony knows her fate will at least be read. This stage of her life will be read in about two minutes and 40 seconds from right now. Judge Perry, the one thing he's been throughout these proceedings is prompt. So we anticipate he will walk in here in just a minute or two. And we're going to bring it to you live here on Channel 9. Judge Perry. That's done, as you said, a remarkable job. Will he be nervous as this is read, knowing that uh, it comes at the end of his hard work as well? There's one person in this whole world that is not nervous, and that's Judge Perry. Judge Perry um, has been a steadying influence in this case. He's been the ideal jurist to hear this case, and truly, some would say, well, he seems to favor one side or another. I guarantee you, he does not favor either side. However this comes out, he will discharge his duties. If this is murder in the first degree, he will discharge his duties. He will convene the penalty phase. He will receive the recommendation, and he will make that choice of either life or death in there. That is a weighty decision on a mere mortal to make, but he's had to make it eight times. This may be his ninth time. We know he's made it eight times, and it's been appealed. All eight have been appealed, and all eight death sentences have been appealed. Held. This could be the ninth, and if it appealed, I cannot help but believe it would be sustained and upheld also. It is so quiet in the courtroom. Cindy Anthony looking up at the clock, which is right above her. This is one of those moments where you could likely hear the seconds tick by while you're in the court. Casey Anthony, you can see her breathing in and out. The clock above George and Cindy was just referenced by Cindy Anthony. We are now, right now, at this instant, one minute away from the verdict being read in the case against Casey Anthony. And again, uh, we are going to follow this with the live coverage here on Channel 9. As you watch these final seconds, we know that Judge Perry is in his chambers about to walk in. He is, and I see George Anthony with his hands folded, his head slightly bowed, and his eyes were closed. Here comes Judge and Perry. here comes Judge Perry. Take you to courtroom 23. The verdict is in. You may be seated. Let the record reflect that the defendant is present along with counsel for the defendant. Both sides ready to proceed. It's been brought to my attention that the jury has reached the verdict. State? The state's ready to proceed, John. Defense? Defense is ready. To those in the gallery, please do not express any signs of approval or disapproval upon the reading of the verdict. Let's return the jury. State recognized presence of the jury. It is, Your Honor. And does the defense? Yes, sir, we do. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Have you reached the verdict? Yes, Your Honor. 
Yes. Would you hand the verdict form to the court deputy, please? rise along with counsel. Madam Clerk, you may publish the verdicts. In the circuit court for the Ninth Judicial Circuit in and for Orange County, Florida, State of Florida versus Casey Marie Anthony. As to case number 2008, CF 15606-0. As to the charge of first degree murder, verdict as to count one, we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, on this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of aggravated child abuse, verdict as to count two, we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of aggravated manslaughter of a child, Verdict is to count three. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. So say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict is to count four. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all did at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to law enforcement officer, verdict is to count five. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all did at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict is to count six. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Sorry. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all did at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict is to count seven. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all did at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. Madam Clerk, you may poll the jury. Juror number one, were these your true and correct verdicts? Pardon? Juror number one, were these your true and correct verdicts? Not guilty. Were they all your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number two, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number three, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number four, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number five, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number six, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number seven, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number eight, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number nine, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number ten, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number eleven, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. And juror number twelve, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Well, counsel.